If I were your age, starting fresh. Alaska. It's the last frontier. Up there, you can be anything you want. Alaska herself can be Sleeping Beauty one minute. And a bitch with a sawed off shotgun the next. <laughs> Ooh. Good morning from Alaska. Today is March 1st. What are we doing in Alaska in the middle of winter? I am glad you asked. This is a very good question that I'm sort of asking myself again now because it just like popped into my head and when I get an idea, I just like can't let it go. And so here we are in Alaska and now I'm kind of like, what? What did I do? I know it's gonna be chilly out there. I just can't conceptualize it yet. Yeah, I'm a little scared to go out that door right now. He's going outside so he can see what it feels like. How was it? It wasn't too bad. Okay, my turn. I wanna know what it's like. Ooh, it's snowing. This is okay, I can do this. Just arrived at our rental car. It is covered in snow and ice. Okay, we're finally in the car. I have to say it's a little weird that we had to Uber to go get the car, but it's fine. It's the only company that has snow tires, which is crazy, but all the rest of them will give you a four-wheel drive vehicle, but no snow tires. So we landed in Fairbanks, Alaska last night, and then we planned absolutely nothing for the next three days. I did that on purpose so that we could chase clear skies. That's kind of the best way to see the aurora. We have a really good forecast for the week that we're here. The cloud forecast, on the other hand, is not great. So fingers crossed that we actually get to see some aurora because that's kind of the whole point of this trip. But the next three days, I don't even know what we're doing. Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> okay, we have to be out of here in 15 minutes. Where are we going, Garrett? I don't know. Where are we going? I still don't know. <laughs> Okay, like all good decisions, this one was made last minute. <laughs> and we're gonna head out to the Kastner Glacier. That is about two and a half hours away. And we're gonna just go out there for the day and come back. Santa Claus! Which means we're gonna be driving a little bit at night. But Garrett's confident. So far. <laughs> Great. These mountains are in fact dramatic as fuck. It's so cool. Spotted our first glacier. It's a glacier, man. <laughs> Winter or summer, the ice cave is apparently always there. Word on the street was all we had to do is find our way there and then walk along the frozen river and we would find the cave. We figured that getting there would be the hard part and the hiking would be easy, but we were wrong. Okay, well everyone <laughs> has turned back, but none of them have snowshoes on. I do. But Garrett's were too big to fit in the suitcase, so we didn't bring them. And I'm hoping we'll make it because it was like a two hour and 40 minute drive here. Um, I don't know how far we've gone, but fingers crossed. It's pretty disorienting because it's just nothing but white all around me. And I see a couple in the distance and I'm just kind of following them, hoping they know where they're going because um, I don't really like, there's no trail but I don't see any cave or anything or any sign of it. So I really hope we find it. it you guys kept me going. Thank you. It's amazingly smooth. I feel like the only thing I can do, I have to lick it. Your tongue could get stuck, don't do that. It's really so cool. Tired, very sweaty, totally wet from the sweat. It's all good though, it's all good. Hoping for an uneventful drive back. Got a frozen drone battery, <laughs> needs charging. Good morning from Fairbanks. Made it back last night. I'm currently balancing my camera on a napkin holder. Once again, we didn't like book anything or plan anything and I don't think you could do this here in the summer, but since it's winter, 
doesn't really seem to matter. That's my sweater. The road to Chen is a little bit bumpy. It's bumpy. The China Hot Springs are an institution. They've been around since the early 1900s and the waters were thought to be healing, still are. It's a big complex. When you visit today, you'll notice that there are a lot of things going on. It's a huge resort with so much room for activities. Since it's an hour outside of Fairbanks, we decided to rent a room for the night. Looks like that dragon's gonna eat you. That's a nice white noise machine. But I have to say, unfortunately, I was almost immediately disappointed. Okay, well, our stuff already exploded all over the place. And I was warned by the reviews, but this is uh, probably... Rustic. It's rustic. Mmm. Okay. Not it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great, though. It's not great. Yeah. <laughs> However, once I finally got into the water at the hot springs, my demeanor changed entirely. But then at night, the vibe totally changed. It kind of seemed a little bit almost like a party atmosphere, and it really felt to me like millennial bath time. And I gotta say, I was kind of here for it. Back to Fairbanks now. That's on the Chino Hot Springs. I like the springs themselves, and if you go in the morning, there's really almost nobody there. It's so hot, but I like it. The accommodation and the restaurant, I don't know. To put it into perspective, we have booked a like mountain yurt that is totally secluded and has like Aurora views and is really awesome and has a hot tub that is about the same price per night. And I don't know. I just don't know if the value is there for that place. Just stopping by for the day, it's only 15 bucks. So that's how I would do it next time. But at least we didn't have to drive out and drive back all in one day. So that's the perk. February, March is check out the World Ice Sculpture Festival. It seems like a cool thing to do here. And how often do you get to see ice sculptures where you live? Are you excited? Always. Always. It's actually really fast. Ooh, that's the big daddy sled. I don't actually know how to play, but you know let's try. No. <laughs> So neither of us know? Well, I just forget how to set it up. It's pretty cool, these are like so complex and I've never seen an ice sculpture before that was making like a political statement. It's very interesting and this is definitely, this is huge, so I, I can't even imagine how it looks like in normal years, but it's an amazing thing to do in Fairbanks, absolutely worth the, the $16 entry to get in. But it turned out that driving in Alaska wasn't that bad. It was often pretty well plowed down to tar, and because it's so cold there, it didn't really freeze and create ice on the roads. I could live in Alaska. Yeah. It's beautiful, but we, you, it's like this most of the time. It's always winter here. No. <laughs> and even though it was minus 11 at times, as long as you have the right clothes on, you'll be fine. But the biggest thing is, are we going to see any aurora on this trip? Even though we had some really good nights, we still hadn't seen anything. Gearing up and we're going to go out and play. I'm so excited that we got clear skies. It was definitely not forecasted. Please.